Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're back in single player today, and we got a couple things that I've been wanting to check out. These two things we actually discovered during live streams uh, just before online came out, and it's taken me this long to get back into getting some of the stuff done that I wanted to do before online came out, but just didn't get a chance. It did drop a little bit earlier than we anticipated, uh, but there is this, like, devil person hiding in a tree in New Austin. And there is also a crash near McFarland's ranch uh, that contains some interesting information. We're going to check out both of these today. I hope you all enjoy it. We're going to mess around with this, like, demon person a little bit and see if anything interesting happens. Uh, but first and foremost, we need to head to a specific spot. Now, let's see here. Manzanita Post. Or was it near Manzanita Post? So I've got a... Oh, no, that was... Oh, this was the Boldy Easter egg, I believe. That's the downed car. Or uh, the downed... We'll just go to that. I don't think I ever showed that in anything but during a live stream. So for those of you that played Bully, you're going to recognize this. It's pretty interesting. And I'm like 90% sure that's what this is that we're heading to. It's a little wreckage from like a circus. Just north of Manzanita Post, right in here. Yes, it's still here. It just stays here. And I found this during a live stream. I'm pretty sure other people have shown it before. But it is a, uh, a bully Easter egg. It's the conjoined twins. Even in the same dress. Really creepy. I didn't find anything else here other than that. Um, there's no really interesting things. Although this would be really cool if it worked. This is like one of those fortune telling machines. I just wish I could put like some money in it and get it to work. How cool would that be? But other than that, I couldn't really find anything. Madam Irene's fortunes very cool that wasn't really one of the things but i just happened to see it and realized that we never showed a video on it it was probably just in the middle of nowhere in some live stream so i'm kind of trying to go back and do some of these things that i live streamed and many of you may have not gotten to actually see because you know the live streams are long and i completely understand not every single person has the ability to watch all of the live streams but let me know if you like this idea of going back and doing some of my favorite things that I did during streams, but necessarily get to showcase on the channel. Oh, I've been trying to get... Oh, why... This thing's not equipped. There we go. So the Skinners are down here attacking these people. You have to be stupid quick. Oh, crap. All right, so there's one. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him. Did we get them all? Are they both alive? Oh, we did it. We finally saved both of them. You have to do it so quickly because the second they realize you're here. Oh God, you okay? I, I thought we were done for. Yeah, they yeah, instantly yeah, kill them. Thanks to this man. You guys got Mr. anything for Burrs me? cannot express my thanks to you. No need. I was here in time. Get out of here. Take care of yourselves. I've been trying to save these two forever. And literally the second the Skinners see you, they cut her throat and stab him. And I've only ever been able to save one of them. But that time we finally got both. It's always because I'm coming up this hill and they recognize you like when you're down there and you can't get up in time. Yeah. So coming down from the hill up there made that significantly easier. Is there any information to be had in this little camp? I'm genuinely curious in this lockbox every time i've done this i've gotten upset and just didn't even bother looting anything got some cocaine gum and health cure that's not really worth anything i bet there's probably information on their bodies and i just never bothered looting them before yeah there's nothing nothing really of interest here so far but i'm glad i finally got to save them i got some honor not that it really matters because my honor is super duper low thanks to all of you during live streams make me do horrible horrible things now this here i ran into a long time ago hey. and i didn't think to do anything with it so it is just north of mcfarland's ranch hey, and it's like a hearse with a, a dead guy hanging off the back oh we also have some dead horses this time looks like something tried to eat their butt 
well that's not strange at all so i didn't think to do anything with this the last time i was here but let's put this guy down and see what he's got on him usually hanging people have some information to be had and this guy shouldn't be any different or is he supposed to just fall in the cart he doesn't have any information people have told me that you could loot him i feel betrayed there is no ammo whatsoever. Or no ammo. <laughs> Nothing to loot here whatsoever. Well, that was anticlimactic. And he should have at least fallen in the coffin. But no, completely derpy. All right, so this is a ending up becoming a little bit of a disaster. Now, where we want to go to find the demon person, which we know is the thing, is this little dot just above the N in New Austin. Now, we found this when I was live streaming. We didn't do the full interaction. I just know there's somebody hiding in a treehouse. And when things hide in treehouses, I'm curious. I wanted to do this almost immediately after the stream. And then I believe the next day was when online came out. And it was just a mad rush um, to play. So hopefully we start getting some new Red Dead Redemption online updates soon. Get out of here! Ra <gasps> that rabbit was invincible. I ran its ass over and it said, no, I am the Lord and Savior Rabbit. I will not die and just phased out of existence. Pretty cool. Um, regardless, yeah, I'm definitely hoping we get some new content updates. I think they're prioritizing making these servers stable, which is 100% acceptable uh, because if they add new content and the servers are shit, then nobody can play the new content anyways, and it would be a nightmare. And we should be getting close. I think it's this tree that's just up ahead. There we go. Go away! <laughs> I will not! Come on, where are you? So there's gotta be a way to get this person down alive. It looks like they're hiding like right on this trap door right there. Oh, what is it doing? It's it's straddling. Is it a it sounds like a female. Can I climb up? It's like straddling that, that little bit right there. That's not weird at all. I kind of want to live up there. Oh. That's super creepy. Can we like... Whoa! Oh, it died. What the hell? Oh! There's more stuff falling. Okay, that was that was kind of unexpected. Why is it in underwear? It's got boots on. What the crap? So it's got like a... He, it looks like a he, has a cleft lip. It's, it's just kind of deformed. I want to see if we could take him alive. Well, before we restart this, I suppose we should loot him. See if there's anything interesting on him. We lost honor. Cocaine gum. Nothing. Just some cocaine gum, huh? Do we get up? It'd be so cool if we could climb that ladder. I wonder... There's like a rope there. What happens if we like shoot the rope? Maybe we can like climb it up. That'd be cool. Clearly not a thing though. Interesting. I want to like launch myself up there and see if there's anything up there. We need to try and take him alive first. There's gotta be a way to take this person alive. I was curious if there's any other interactions if we kind of just hang around here for a while. It sounds like a woman when it's yelling like this. I wonder if maybe we could spook it. What is that can right there? Spook it. Spook him, her, whatever it is. Maybe we could get it to fall on us? Or the horse? We need a wagon. That's what we need. I definitely think we scared him. It's still just hanging right there, huh? Maybe we shoot close to it? 
You'll kill me, huh? I don't think so. Super crazy. Get your ass down here. Come down here and I'll stop shooting. <laughs> I'm just curious if there's any other lines. I'm trying to get you down here. I want to be your friend. Stop it, you bastard. Those are strong words for somebody who's just trying to be your friend, man. Oh. Oh, I think that's it. All right, I got to catch him. Catch him. I got you, buddy. I guess not. You still have cocaine gum on you. Cigarettes this time. Well, shit. So, um, looking for a wagon because I've decided we need one. And there's just a, a dead dude chilling here. You ain't got no business being here. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of business near a dead body. You have an issue. You can take it up with my you uh, my turn gun. Deal right now. You hear me? What happened here, anyways? Does he have any letters or anything on him? Cocaine gum. I'll put a hole in Whoa! Hey! Ho! 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 Ah! Give your horse an enema, a bullet enema. Jeez, do you have anything on you? What kind of? What's going on here? Somebody's got to have something. A dollar fifty-eight, potent health cure. No, nothing. Just oh, thunderstorm. Well, anyways, we need a wagon. You might be asking yourselves, why do we need a wagon? Well, I have a plan. I just need time and a wagon, and this plan will come to fruition. Good God, I couldn't find a damn wagon to save my life. Well, now we got. Why is my bow unequipped? Is that a dead horse? The crap is happening down here. Slow now. Oh, oh. I'm gonna shoot you down. I will. You just wrong. get out of this cart. Right. I need it for an experiment. Oh, damn you. This is for science. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, now we gotta jump to the damn wagon. That guy apparently doesn't appreciate science as much as we do. Get your stupid wagon. All right, we have relinquished our wagon. Now we have to go all the way back to New Austin. There's like 15 billion miles away. Let's see if this works. We've got our wagon. And my thought process is, you know, if you're gonna fall from some sort of height, you should fall onto a nice fluffy-ish wagon, right? That should make things better. I mean, it's not that bad of a fall now, right? Fall right onto a wagon. It doesn't get much better than that. Now the oh, you know what? Let's maybe we should cut the horses free. Because if the horses spook, don't kick me. Don't be a oh. Oh, I was trying to let you be a free horse. I might shoot you in the face if your friend kicks me. I swear to God, friend, do not kick me. You will get a dynamite enema. I promise you. I am trying to help you. Do not be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Oh, you're just gonna you're you're too busy pooping. I see how it is. You need to you need to move there, home skillet. Please don't kick me. Please don't kick me. Please don't kick me. Ah! Oh, God. Okay. All right. Will this work? Come on. Oh, it fell through the cart. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. We did it. Oh, he's crawling away. Hey. Howdy, partner. What's it like being alive? You are just really broken now, aren't you? <laughs> We've got him, though. We got ourselves a new friend. What are we going to name him? Do you have a name? I'm going to name you Filibuerto. You look like a Filibuerto. You look kind of angry, but a Filibuerto nonetheless. Yeah, you itch your nose. Oh, look at those weird, those big old mitts you got. And them. 
<laughs> I can't say it. Uh, <laughs> um, what do we do with this guy now? I, I didn't plan this far ahead. So I guess the only thing to do really is to maybe time up. Oh, God. There we go. Is he going to make any noise? What if we take him to jail? Look out! Is he going to say anything? I don't think it's... I don't think we're meant to take this guy alive. He's making some squirmy noises. Nothing more than that, though. If we let him... If we drop him... Will he, like, try and run away or anything? Like, cut him free? Change your heart. He's not even, he's not even scripted to be able to move. <laughs> oh no. I'm tied up. I'm curious to see if anybody recognizes him even like as an NPC, if they'll get mad. Whoa! I can't just let this slip by unreported. He just disappeared. He entered some kind of weird matrix fourth dimensional yet. craziness. Did he just teleport back to like his home? What the? What was that? I wanted to, uh, but, but, no. I wonder if he's gonna be back up in his house. Oh, geez, hi, animals. Well, that's interesting. Is he just gone? Oh, he's, oh, he's back. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so weird. How do we get him back down? I gotta wait for the for the wanted to go down before I try and kidnap him again. That's that that is weird. All right, let's see if we can get him down again without killing him. Oh, now he's stuck up there. Get down here! Oh man, I don't want him to die. How are, we how are we supposed to get him down? Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so entertaining. Maybe I got to shoot him in like the foot. I don't want him to die. I don't have to go get this card again. Maybe like right in the hand. Oh, please don't kill him. Whoop! Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's super dead. My bad. Well, crap. That means if I want to experiment with him more, I got to frickin' get another cart. Ah! This is just all... This is all sorts of ridiculous. He teleported. I'd, I'm pretty sure he's, like, super tied to whatever this this cabin is. I don't know, really. It, like, he didn't have anything on him. Kind of want to experiment with it more, but I have a feeling he's just going to... If we take him too far away, he's just going to teleport back here. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's fun that we finally were able to, like, take him alive, though. What does he have on this time? Snake oil. His inventory changes each time, which is interesting as well. But, um, just a, a little bit of a ridiculous episode experimenting Boy. with some of the stuff in here. Um, maybe we need to sacrifice him on the pentagram. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Were you able to do anything more interesting with him if you, uh, when you tried, if you tried at all, to capture him alive? Do you think I should try and sacrifice him on the pentagram and see what happens? We still haven't figured out if that thing actually does anything. Um, or if it's just, you know, a weird little Easter egg. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you all in the next one.